All right, in the bottom left, as the red player, one player one side, we have uh, Balder being played Lewis by Lewis. By yes. <laughs> well, Lewis was seven in the bracket, and then the top right player as player two, playing Ragnar, we have Carl L. Um, I'm going to sit this one out because my save didn't get deleted, but you guys can. Oh, okay. Take this. Okay. All right, we see they are both doing a turn one heal. That, that's a bit surprising. I mean, who could have expected that? Uh... I definitely think the player one turn one heal is a good option because it doesn't delay your thief. But for player two, it actually delays your thief by one turn. So I don't know whether I like that. Yeah, and if like player one rushes thief, uh, player two can be really behind if he does that but it didn't happen this game so we're not gonna get into the <laughs> opening details quite yet i suppose oh lewis just killing the skeleton in front of the hq like very very aggressive positioning and Kalil doesn't have any units to punish that oh but dragon comes out and there's not really wow, anything a dragon of course I mean, who could have expected it? I know. It's only he only had the exact amount of gold for it. But uh, Luis responds by building a witch. Rise from your grave. And Father's gonna use groove. Just gonna damage this village, which I think is a good choice because now he can knock that down with Valder and build another sword pretty much straight away. Yeah, and even though like. Um... Maybe the HQ push immediately has been staved off. Um, Lewis is still in a really great spot overall because he controls more of the map and he still has the HQ pressure, whereas Ragnar is being forced on the defensive and she has to defend her HQ instead of being able to attack and create her own threats. Yep, so very good. Uh, well, it's not, not tempo, but... Um... Let's say he's Lewis is more active than Khalil at this point. Yeah, he's definitely in the driving seat. Rise from your now we have grave. Dragons from both players out on the map. Yes, the dragon's really the strong on this map. Do you feel like it's actually worth just skipping a barracks build just so you can get your dragon out? I mean, in Kalil's position where you need something to defend your HQ, it's definitely worth it. Was, it was a good call from him. What I hmm. might have preferred instead was uh, instead of the dragon, uh, I might have gone a knight and then a balloon or something. Because the balloon is really useful for transporting commander around on this map. Ooh, like but that he... dragon is gonna... No, no, the dragon won't die because... Ragnar will. Oh, yeah, that also can happen. So, <laughs> yeah, just leaving Ragnar a bit vulnerable, and then yeah, bam. walking too far, trying to get some initiative back, and gets banished for it. And you're not gonna survive witch hex, mage crit, dragon hit, commander hit. So. That is Lewis taking game number one in a pretty, pretty fast game. Definitely a very brutal map. Yeah, it can be really difficult to fend off that um, early turn one or early player one commander rush that we saw from Lewis if you're not prepared for it. Because um, the commander gets to the center so early and it starts just pressuring your whole weak side and there's not a lot you can do if you weren't expecting it from the start and weren't preparing for it. Yeah, preparation definitely important this week. And I feel like we're going to see a few games with like this where uh, one player will have something prepared and the other won't. And it'll result in quite a big lead early. Uh, 